Good morning, morning from, from Aruba. That's right, we are in Aruba today. We are. Day seven on the Crown Princess. Last port of call. That's right. Sad. It's a little sad. <laughs> but we're excited to be ba we're excited to be, to be back, back in Aruba. I can't even talk this we morning. We are. Um, we're actually doing something that we have done before and enjoyed so much we decided to do it again. This is so fun. We have a need to be pirates today. Arr. So are you ready for some piracy? Are. I guess so. So we are going down to Moomba Beach to pick up the Jolly Pirates ship. Yes. Uh, lots of snorkeling, lots of rum, and this actually, uh, last time we were here we did the three hour option which was the afternoon snorkel. Mm -hmm. This time we're here early enough where we get to do the morning snorkel that includes lunch. So, so we, we can get to show you the food. Yes! Options. Lots of food! Yeah. So I'm excited. Me too. Hopefully I can see stuff at the shipwreck this time. That's this is true. True hope. That's my right. True hope. I don't know. Words. True only hope. <laughs> Uh, we've already had breakfast delivered to the cabin, mm -hmm. we've eaten it, and we are ready to roll out. It's just after 8 o'clock. Yep. It's about a 15 minute taxi ride over, and it leaves at 9, so we're going to go ahead and yeah. get rolling. So, <laughs> let's get this adventure started. Join us. Arr. Arr. Bye. Mm. Bye. Bar. Mm. Bar. Bar. <laughs> Open oh. bar. Alright, we're following our signs to city center. And right out here to the taxi stand just outside the door. We are heading down to Moomba today. Beach. We got almost front door drop off service here at the Jolly Pirates. Nicely done. I always like the taxi system here, seems super organized. Oh, I had heard about that. They've got the Carry Your Cup campaign, which is where they encourage you to bring a reusable cup to help prevent, you know, single use and stuff for your open bar drinks. Oh, that. That's awesome. Very good. Thank you. All right, we are all checked in and ready to roll, and we decided to go ahead and get some reusable cups. They've got them on sale for $2, so help yeah. conserve the environment. Hashtag carry your cup. Smart. That's right. It is smart. Don't waste. Anyway, but we're going to wander down to the end of the pier. They said we got about six or seven minutes until they'll probably start boarding or at least letting us think about it, so we're going to roll that way. Yeah. See if we can see any fish already. Mm, oh wow, yeah. Lots of little fish. They're just living under the pier. And then they disappear. <laughs> no, okay. So we're waiting here at the end of the dock. It looks like what they're doing is they've got sort of a, uh, let's call it a tendering operation, where you get onto a small white boat to head out to your pirate ship. It's windy, don't fall off the dock. <laughs> no, I know. I know. One other thing that's fun is I think they said they actually provide reef safe sunscreen now mm -hmm. free of charge for folks on the excursion here. So that's, really, really that's actually really good. Yeah. Reef safe sunscreen, that's the good stuff. And it's, it's not inexpensive, but you know, it helps to save the environment. So see, reusable cups, reef safe sunscreen. All about the environmentally friendly. <laughs> I like this. Whoa, the wind wow. is coming. Hey. Shipwreck. Probably, guy, you heard about it. There used to be a German cargo ship sunk in the World War II. We're gonna go to about 60 feet of water, 60. 
wind and the current is going to be a little stronger but there is going to be choppy water for the reason guys we recommend it for more advanced swimmers and it's not feeling experience for the beginners That's it true. might be too rough second stop is going to be boca catalina it's a coral reef over there guys we're going to anchor the boat in about 10 feet of water and that one's going to be perfect for everybody as well as our third stop Malmok. so guys in Malmok, we're going to be doing two different things first we're going to do snorkeling and right after the snorkeling guys we're going to be ready to open our famous pirate rope swing so do we have any warranty for that anybody yes in the back drinks will be several paper cups we can ask you to please hold on to your cup don't let it fly away go into the water once you're done with your drink drop it on the left if i do reuse it bring it back to the bar d is in cruise hair don't care slash snorkel mode we're heading out to the shipwreck now as our first stop. Yeah. I think he said it was called the Antigua or the Antilia. Yeah. Close. I'll have to look that up. Antigua. Yeah. Antigua. Sounds good. Something in the A. That's right. An a, I think. <laughs> Hopefully the visibility is good today. Looks similar. Yeah. I think it's always kind of like this. But maybe. Okay. Well, looks like we have arrived. This seems to be the hot snorkeling spot. This is Antila, the shipwreck. Right here, guys, we enter the boat in about 60 feet of water. As you notice, right here, the wind is as strong as choppy water. As I say, time over here is 25 minutes. Life jacket is easy to use. Well, guys, no more talking. Pool is open. And enjoy, guys. Shark feeding charm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Snorkel mode activate. Have fun. All right, she's off to explore some shipwrecks. So very popular over here. We'll see what kind of hopeful footage she can get without people flapping her in the head with a fin. <laughs> Got the thumbs up. Looking good out there today. All right, Dia survived. She's made it back on board. She's earned another drink. Actually, she's still on her first drink. Uh, I finished my first one, but I haven't gone back up I for another. <laughs> anyway, so good visibility. Yeah. All right. Lots of fish. You can see everything. It's really nice. nice. When people were diving all the way down, I oh, find yeah. that I'm not allowed that. I guess it's taken air out, but it's very bountiful. <laughs> First up, success. <laughs> All right, time to roll off to our next destination. This is Boca Catalina, Catalina uh -huh. Bay. Right here, guys, we anchor the boat in about 10, 12 feet of water. Please do not touch anything in the water. Right here, you might see sea urges and starfishes. And as you know, sea urges don't like to be touched. Besides that, um, you're going to regret for the rest of the vacation. And the starfishes are very sensitive. She is off on an adventure. This is kind of nice because you have a lot of room to spread around, go do your own thing. But I guess it's like coral. <laughs>
it. I'm trying to wave bye to the fish in peace. Stop it. Stop it. Get out. My arm's cuter. Get back. <laughs> First, once we're done with the snorkel, we're gonna do the rope swinging and then we're gonna do the lunch. That's the order of the activities. Okay. Uh, snorkel mode. returned with amazing snorkeling news. I got her a drink while she's gone. We're watching our neighbor ship do the rope jumping. I guess after the snorkeling section, they get everybody back on the ship. Then they open up rope jumping. And then we have lunch. Did you call it rope jumping? Rope, oh. rope. Like it, rope is, it is rum rope jumping. I was like, uh. That is accurate. All right, you know they had to turn on Justin Bieber and just make my entire vacation. Justin Bieber, why? Because they love you. Please, guys, make sure you let go at the end of this swing, okay? You have to let go, guys. <laughs> I need one big favor, please. Uh, in a few minutes, we're gonna serve you the lunch. I need everybody have a seat. Yeah. Please. I think they stay where you are. Don't move. Don't talk. Don't break. Don't jump in wow. the water. Don't Gotta talk. Breathe. Yes. Don't work. Uh, Hilton, I'm gonna serve you the lunch. Special menu: donkey ribs, iguana. Also, donkey we're gonna ribs and iguana. For five minutes. We're gonna get busy serving the lunch. Yes. So they've come around with utensils, single-use utensils, but that's all right. Well. <laughs> you can't help that. And uh, they're bringing us plates of food. I have not seen yet what's on it, but it looks pretty decent. Whoa. Oh, thank you. Well, that's cool. Yeah. D needs carbs right now. Chicken, ribs, pasta salad, pineapple, and some rice. That was really tasty. I powered through mine. I was hungry. But hopefully I don't have barbecue sauce all over my face, but really good lunch. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
You made it back to Aruba, congratulations. The sign is proud of us. All right, now the taxi stand, as we learned last time, is in the front of the Aruba Surf Club. If it's like last time, we kind of cross a pool. No, you're not allowed to go in the pool. No. This looks promising. We'll go into the lobby. Oh, we've found our way back to the outside. We're just making our way to the front of the hotels. We're going to check up here by these flags. So just here outside Compass Tower at the Surf Club is Badoom, the taxi stand. Made it back to the cruise terminal successfully. Now we just have to show our IDs and hop back on board. Last port of call. So we had the Norwegian Epic in with us today. There's some kind of a ship from Free Winds. And hey, look, the Crown Princess. Sounds good. Let's hop on that one. Everglades. Good Hello. evening. It is dinner time. But before we go to dinner, we have to talk again about our adventure for today. So we went on a pirate ship from Jolly Pirates here in Aruba. Did you have fun? I did. We actually got to go to three snorkel spots this time, and I could see the shipwreck. Yay! Yeah, it's much and there were clearer. so many fish. It was amazing. That's cool. And yeah. I stayed on the ship, and I had some rum because that's what I do. When I think of a pirate, I'm on a ship. I'm drinking rum and recording. Making videos. That's true. Yeah. Looking at pretty scenery, <laughs> plotting to take over various pieces of land, plunder, you know, all that sort Don't of stuff. That. So, <laughs> all right. But yeah, so a good day in mm -hmm. Aruba again. So now we're off to dinner. Yes. But thanks to Jolly Pirates Thank Aruba you guys. for a fun and amazing day. That was awesome. Do it. <laughs> You should. If you're here for just a little bit, it's a good way to see a lot of the islands. You get to go to a few snorkeling spots, meet some locals, have a good time. It's really fun. Yeah. All right. Are you ready for dinner? I'm Are you starving. hungry? Yeah. All right. We're going to roll out and have some dinner. But anyway, y'all come along with us okay. now. Come on. All right. Bye. Bye. Sunshine bread. <laughs> oh, it's very, very sunny over in our table today. <laughs> But we have a view. steel drum tunes. Yeah. Right, we've made it up to deck seven. Going to the Explorer's Lounge. These going to the Ladies Club. All right, I'm going to go get some seats while she goes to the club. Uh, and we're going in here to see an illusionist show. Oh, wow. Looks fancy. Heading back into Club Fusion now after the Illusionist show. Exile is playing back here, and then there is a game show happening. The six quiz time sheets and we're going to ask a number of different 10 and 60 questions once we've read the question to you twice start writing there are 10 answers for each question if you get all 10 when we run through the answers you get 10 points but there is this twist this <gasps> random microphone here what? so again if you're a specialist in any subject if we ask you a question and you think you know all 10 you know it you can just simply yell stop the room make your way to this microphone give us all 10 answers and you double the points for that round what 
Is it just that easy or is there a caveat, Paul? Well, there's a small problem. If if you go for the double points round, if you get one wrong out of the ten, then you don't get nine points, you get zero points for that particular question. So only go for this when you know all ten. Ten heaviest organs in the human body. Liver. Liver is one. Kidney. Kidney is two. Lungs is three. Intestines. Intestines. Intestines is not there. The ten most visited cities in the world. London is one. Paris is two. Rome. Rome is not in the top ten. The ten highest scoring letters in the game of Scrabble. Z. Z is one of them. X. X is two. B. K. Sorry? K. K is three of them. U. U. And gone with U as an answer, and U is not there. Therefore, you take the game on this one. No, what song are you singing for us tonight? Alone. Oh, my heart. Oh, I love this song. I wonder where you are tonight. No answer on the sang in. D sang a song. We actually sang a duet, but we couldn't record the duet because, um, well, we're both up on stage singing. <laughs> back to the cabin. We've come back to find the patter on the bed and the silver round chocolates. Yeah. It sounds like you're peeing back there, but I know you're just washing your hands. That's rude. Are you talking to me? What? No. Good night. Good night. We are in the cabin. We are red-ish. <laughs> We didn't uh, sunscreen as well today as we should have. At but all. <laughs> um, I did, but not until like the second snorkel stop. We were stop. up on the top deck. Yeah. And we didn't. Yeah. Anyway. That's fine. It's our do last that. stop. You know what? We're allowed to be sunburnt. I don't have feel a little sunburnt. Burn to take just home. a little more. <laughs> Little Clearly warm. not sunburned. But anyway, we're going to bed. We are yeah. at sea tomorrow. We have two sea days back. Uh, we got our chocolates to eat. We're mm -hmm. just going to get in this bed, eat all this chocolate. Busy day tomorrow. Lots of rehearsals. Yeah, all, all the behind the, the scenes things. rehearsal stuff. So hopefully we'll still be able to do some other stuff and things. But yeah. we do have a lot of rehearsing going on. That's what happens when you get Good involved. times. I know, y'all. Look at that. <laughs> it's fun, though. Anyway, we're going to bed. Good so night. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Thanks for joining us. Stay tuned Good for night. more. <laughs> I'm a goober.